the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting the last of the Leviathan box, or at least in the High Fleet of Leviathan. For now, we have the Psychophage. Yes, the big boy himself. Here he is. Disgusting. <laughs> it's a really, really cool model, this one. It's hefty. It's very, very big, which is very cool. And... You sent to me earlier as part of the Leviathan box by Games Workshop, so a massive thank you to them for that. And we are now going to jump in and we are going to start painting him. And if you've been following along with the series, most of this shouldn't be too much of a surprise to you by now. However, the first colour that we're going to be using is a roughly three parts Lamia medium to one part Caraba crimson mix. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the flesh of the Psychophage. However, we're not going to be doing the sack at the back. I was trying to think of a third rhyme. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to be applying this like this over the arms, legs and body. But this large area back here, we're not going to be applying it over that because it is a slightly different colour. So for now, we're just going to focus on the rest of them. And this will include all of the tentacles at the front. You do need to get those done as well. now I'm just gonna have at it So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade and we're going to apply this over the top of the sack. Well, that Reichland Flesh Shade all applied. It's still drying at the moment, but that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to move on. Now, we've got a lot of blending to do here, and it's kind of different for all the different places that we're going to be doing. So what we're going to do first is we're going to focus on the large legs, and the colour we're going to be using is Magos Purple. And what we want to do is we want to apply this over the top, like this, at the kind of knuckle. And get that all over. We'll do both sides as well. Just so we can avoid those drying lines. Like so. And then on this kind of area here, what we're going to do is we're going to apply the Magos Purple all over it. Like that. We're then going to wash the brush and then towards the top here we're just going to remove the paint by just kind of stippling it off like that. So we 
you do the same thing on the back, just here, get it all over, wash the brush, and then smoothing it out by stippling it off like that. I'm going to do that for all four, one, two, three, four of his legs. Just whilst we're waiting for all that Magos purple to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Volupis pink and contrast medium, and we're going to apply this all over the top of the inside of the moor. Like this. And then, what we're also going to do with it, is we're going to use this to blend out all of the tentacles. However, what we need to do is we need to leave the tips of it the pale colour rather than towards the top. So, we're going to start applying the mix like this. I'm going to follow along this tentacle to the roundabout there. Then going to wash the brush. And then we're just going to blend it back in by just feathering away at the paint. So it starts to create that lovely gradient. I'm going to do this one here. Like so. Then we're going to flip it over. Get that bit done. Bring it along. Wash the brush. Give it a good blending. And then we're just going to continue it up. Wash the brush. And give it a good blending. Like that. And then we can just paint the last bit of that tentacle in. Like so. Carry it right round underneath. And then we can do this one. We want to paint the whole of that kind of first curve. Coming down around here. Bringing it around the other side. And a little bit. Up there like that. Wash the brush. And then once again, just give it a good blending. There like that. And then we're gonna recreate that on the other side, as well as on the tongue. So we're going to bring this up over the top of the tongue, might as well bring it all the way over, like so, give that a wash. Give it a good blending, like that. So with that now done, whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we can now swap back to the legs. And the color we're gonna be using is a roughly two to one mix of contrast medium and Leviathan purple. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna apply this over the top of the leg, like that. We're then going to wash the brush. 
and then we're going to blend it out. Just like that. So with that done, it is now back to the tentacles. I'm going to be using a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Sigval Burgundy and Contrast Medium. And first things first, we want to get this all over once again on the inside of the moor. Like so. And then, going up the tentacles. We want to not do as much of them this time. We are going to once again wash the brush. And then give it blending. Like so. So with that done, we're going to use the same mix, because we're not quite done with it, to paint in the knuckles on the legs. Like that. I'm just going to add a little bit of it the base of the arm. And we're just going to smooth out that transition just a little bit. It's just a little hint of it. Like that. And so with that now done, we're going to take a roughly three parts Flesh Terrors Red to one part Sigvald Burgundy mix. And we're going to apply this over the top of the large claws.
like that. And we're also just going to bring this over the first couple of nobbles and knuckles. Like so. So with those claws drying, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some caribou crimson and we're going to apply this to the more and apply a little bit of it up the tentacles as well. Like so, not too much. And we can just do a little bit of a blend I'm pretty certain but that's the last one <laughs> so with that all done what we're going to do now is we're going to brighten some of it back up so we're going to take some wraith bone and we're going to gently dry brush this over the tops of skin up here we want to build this up using a circular motion like that and then when it comes to the bits that we've blended We just want to very gently catch the edges. Of the sharpest parts. Similarly, on the tentacles themselves. We just want to stick towards the tips over here. Like that sort of thing. So with that done, a huge amount of the psychophage is, well, very much on its way to being finished. However, we're not going to finish it now. What we're going to do is move on, start feeling a little bit more accomplished with the model. And we're going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to use this to paint in all of our remaining claws. So we've got this big one right here. Like that. And we're also going to use the Black Legion to paint in these plugs. In all the flesh. And so with that Black Legion all applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Leviathan Purple and Shayish Purple. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of the armour. So, what I've done is I've actually taken four blobs of each. So it's technically a four to four. This is just so we've got enough to kind of help us go the distance in sections. So I'm going to start here. On the leg. Like 
like that. And then I'm going to start making my way around here. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Coelia green shade and we're going to play this over the top of all the smoke. And so with that done, we're now going to take some Caraberg Crimson and I'm going to use this to shade those large red claws. like that and we're also going to use this on the little gaps And finally, to get him up to war hips to battle ready, we're going to take some Eandon yellow and we're going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. Like that. So with that, our psycho phase is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, before we move on with kind of taking him to the next level, what we're going to do is we're just going to very quickly take some Leviathan blue and we're going to apply this over the top of the Space Marine arm. And with that Leviathan blue applied, we then take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of the sort of soft joints. What little parts of those remain. Like that. And so with that now done, we're then going to take a little bit of blood for the blood god. I'm going to apply this to the stump. like that. So with that done, it is now time to add highlights and take it to the next level. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're starting with some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to pick out all of the teeth, including all the ones up here, but also 
the ones along all the tentacles. Just take your time here. And then once that's done, we'll come back. And so with that screaming skull applied to all of those teeth, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Emperor's Children and we're gonna use this to add some little highlights to all of the tentacle skin. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to move on to all of the purple. This is going to take us the longest to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down jean steel of purple and we're just going to start highlighting all of the armor. And well, those of you who've been following along will know by now what we're going to do is we're going to start picking out the edges, but we're also going to be adding that famous Tyranid feathering by just adding lots of little lines along the armor panels. Just like this. And if you need to, I do recommend having the product photography open just so you can see what the direction is for some of these. So with all of that Jean Steeler purple applied to all of the purple, what we're now going to do is we're going to very gently dry brush it using some Slanesh Grey. So with that done, all of the purple is now finished. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a really small amount of Flash Gits Yellow. We're just gonna apply this over top of the eyeballs. So with that flash gets yellow applied, we're then gonna take some thinned down Mephiston Red. I'm gonna use this to highlight our large dark red claws.
And with all that Mephiston Red applied, we're then going to take some Jacaro Orange. I'm going to use this to pick out the sharpest points. of our red claws. So with that done, the red is now finished and it looks wicked. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take some thinned down rust grey and we're going to use this to highlight our black claws. Like this. We're also going to highlight the plugs. Back here. And we're going to highlight the Marine's armor. And so with that done, we're now going to finish him off by taking some fenrisine grey and just picking out the sharpest corners in all the black. Then all that's left to do is his base. Just like this. So here we have it then, the Psychophage is now all finished with the same base as I've done for the rest of the Leviathan set. So if you want to check out how to do those bases, you can check out the Neuro Tyrant or the Screamer Killer where I went into detail with it a little bit. But here he is, the final miniature. He's a big boy, very, very big boy. He's very, very nice and horrible at the same time. And I'm glad that he's done. I kind of wish there were two in the box, one with a slightly different pose because there's two in the trailer. So it would be nice to have two, but there we go just the one. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful, amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.